It's Angel Monday and I'm Rachel Skoltok, Angel Medium. And here I am with you for the messages and the guidance for the week ahead. Welcome, welcome. So it's Angel Monday again, the Monday the 25th of October in Australia. I know the rest of the world in some places hasn't caught up yet, but that's okay. It's good to get in early. And as usual, I'm giving you the guidance for the week ahead I'm using the angel wisdom tarot and I'm also going to be using some other decks I've got the angel answers deck and an archangel Michael deck we'll just see how it feels so I'd love to know who's here and how you are and what's going on for you hi Tyler good morning hopefully you can see and hear me okay without I might close some apps down actually because Sometimes having too many things open makes the, makes the video a bit blurry for everybody else. Okay, so I've decided to start off um, our Mondays with a bit more of a, a message from the angels and then pull the cards because I think it's really helpful to know what the angels want you to know, you know, a channeled message as well as what comes through on the cards. Usually the cards will back it up, but that's, you know, part of what I do and, you um, it's always so loving and peaceful. And when we're working with the angels, they're very conscious of us, our personalities, our fears, our needs, and, and they're always trying to steer us in the direction of feeling good, peaceful, and calm. And that's because when you're peaceful and calm, which is your natural state, it's who you really are, that's where your soul comes from, right? The divine source, the angels, your soul all the same the same energy because your source come your soul comes from source and so their natural state and your natural state is peace and unconditional love and the angels and the divine god the universe whatever you call it would never want you to feel fearful or to be afraid of negative things happening to you especially um, when it comes to connecting with them. So sometimes people write to me and they say, you know, what if what if I get punished? What if I don't go to heaven? And all these kind of things. And, you know, after all my years of working with the angels, all my years of connecting with spirit, I have never ever received a message or had any inclination or anything that has said that there is a negative outcome for, for you or for anyone else or that, you know, all I know is that the divine is a loving divine. It is a loving universe. And when you are in a state of, of peace, calm, or as close to it as you can get, you probably notice that you feel better. Your body calms down. You're not in fight or flight. Your adrenaline's not running. You're not strung out and stressed. Your mind isn't racing. And your body's happier because your body can digest and function better when you're not in fear. And you can hear your intuition much more clearly because your spiritual body, if you think about your energy body, your aura, your chakras, your third eye, your meridians and nadis, all of those um, energy parts of you, your energetic anatomy, if you like, is your spiritual side. That's your, your spirit self, your eternal self. And so that part of you doesn't respond well to fear energy, does it? Negativity, doubt, low self-worth, negative thoughts, um, panic, worry, <laughs> all of those things. It doesn't respond well. And so the angels are constantly trying to work with you to bring you to feeling calmer and more peaceful because they want you to receive their messages and their guidance. And they want you to manifest your heart's desires, your divine life purpose your divinely aligned life if you like and that comes through peace and so the message that came through to me today as I was preparing for this session is that you are worthy of peace and they are asking you to seek peace in order to seek the answers that you're looking for so, you know, you can see the step-by-step -step guidance. So if you are stuck and you're conflicted or stressed, you're trying to make a decision about something, the first step is to seek peace. 
Seek to free yourself from all that is not peace in the moment. You know, disconnect from things that put you into anxiety or fear or stress or self-comparison and worry. Disconnect from anything or anyone that undermines your sense of self or your makes you feel bad about yourself. And disconnect from thoughts. And if you can get yourself into as peaceful or calm a state as you possibly can, given the circumstances, you will find what you're looking for. You will find the answer that will guide you in the right direction because the angels can get through to you when you haven't got that ah, energy around you, right? Makes sense. So I really love that. So maybe you could say that as an affirmation. I am worthy of peace. I am worthy of peace and seek answers in peace. I am worthy to receive answers for my guidance for my life. I am worthy to have a peaceful life. I am worthy to create peace in my life. And I have permission, I am allowed to let go of all that does not cause me peace. So that, and that means the thinking, the beliefs. And it's important to remember that the things that you think and believe about the world um, are choices, ultimately. We don't think they are, but they are ultimately cho choices. So sometimes we have to ask ourselves, why am I choosing to believe that? <laughs> right? We have to ask ourselves those things sometimes because the mind, the ego mind combined with the imagination can create some pretty, you know, scary stuff, you know, wild, imaginative stuff, stuff that would be good on a movie or in a novel, but not good for your health and your well-being when you're thinking about those things. That's called catastrophic thinking when you project worst case scenarios onto something. And, you know, most of the time, you know, the future's not written in stone. Like, no one can predict a negative future because the future isn't written yet, right? And so don't listen to anyone that tries to project a negative outcome or a ne negative future or thinks they know better than you in a fearful way about things that are going on or what can happen for you. So if you can choose peace, and that's an affirmation out of A Course in Miracles, is I can choose peace rather than this. And this could be whatever thought or challenge or problem or projection that you're dealing with at that time or belief. I can choose peace rather than this. Hi, Kenneth. Thank you for being here and tagging all of your friends. You're such a star. I really appreciate you. Hi, Tarika. Lovely to see you here. Hi, Javanka. From Tampa in Florida. I've been there. I loved it. Welcome. Good morning, Tarika. And hi, Jen. Had an intense wig. Yeah. yeah, I hear you. Time for some peace then, right? Hi, Patricia. Welcome. Welcome. So it's just so lovely to be here with you all and everyone that hasn't said hi, hi anyway. So think of anything that's going on for you at the moment, anything that's, that's corrupting your inner peace and think, right, well, and what am I choosing to believe that is creating this? And what, how can I find peace in this moment? How can, what else can I think about? What can I choose in order to create peace for myself? And then from that place, you can make a decision. You know, I, I come from a long line of worry warts, right? People who worry. And I was trained to worry. Like, and I, I can worry and, and get anxious myself sometimes. And I'm so glad the angels came into my life because they pretty much saved me from a lifetime of, <laughs> of fear, of worry. But, you know, I was already on that path because I was learning, reading things like You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay from when I was very young. Um, you Can If You Think You Can by Norman Vincent Peale. All the new thought authors that were out in the 60s, 70s, 80s, I was reading them from, from teenager. So I already knew that fear wasn't real. But, and we can tell the difference between something that is a clear and present danger, something that we have to make plans to avoid or overcome or challenge, and things that are just wild figments of the imagination that just seem really real because they trigger our fight or flight system, right? They, they trigger us and that, that feels real. When you're having an emotional reaction to something, whether it's real or not, it feels real because your body is reacting as if it is. And so we have to be so careful about things like that. 
we have to be so careful about what we allow into our consciousness and to be able to critically think and just go, I'm not going to buy into that, that sounds ridiculous, or I'm not going to buy into that because that is horrible and I don't want to waste my energy thinking horrible things and scaring myself. <laughs> hi Cheryl, hi, hi Carol. All right, so let's get on with some cards and see what else the angels have to say to us. And you can say the affirmation, I am worthy of peace. Oh, worthy of peace. So we had a beautiful event on Friday, the Archangel Michael Energy Achievement, and we did lots of energy protection. We did a huge guided meditation, which was so intense and beautiful. So if you need some help with fear and energy protection and connecting with Archangel Michael, go over and grab that before it goes. Um, it's over on my, um, on my website as the replay now. Okay, so Archangel Michael, seeing as your presence is so <laughs> strong right now, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really hot. And I love having your guidance, and I know you're very close with all of us at this moment. I ask for your guidance for the week ahead. Thank you for sending us your band of mercy angels to sweep us clear of fear and lower energy attachments, and thank you for protecting this session and everyone in it so that we can stay centered in peace for the whole week ahead. What guidance do you have for us? Okay, so when I'm shuffling, I'm always asking the question and I'm not straying from the question, I just stay with the question. Okay, so he's telling me three cards and one from my deck, he says, so I'm gonna use his deck. <laughs> Which is ancient, antique. Okay. All right, I love these cards. I'm excited to share them with you. So much love and so much abundance is coming in at this moment. And I said last week, there's this wave of energy coming in and it's coming to sweep away the cobwebs, to push away all that's no longer needed. And they're kind of you know what it, it's like if you don't dust your house for a few weeks, you start to get dust bunnies and things. You've got to clean those things out. And it's the same energetically and it's the same in the collective as well. So that's very much what this wave of angelic light is doing for us at the moment. And the angels are saying, call on us, call on us. Please let us help you. The more you call on us, the more light that will be around you and the clearer your path will seem and feel. So the first card, the ver it's about protection. Now this is the Knight of Earth, and I, there's this beautiful horse in the background. There's the plowed field, and there is the figure there making plans, looking over his plans. So this is acknowledging that you're at the beginning of something big. Maybe it's a personal project, it's a new idea, there's something that, is, that you're bringing in, and it's in the planning stages. So, Either way, whether you are or you aren't, this is a message to make sure that you are looking, you're planning before you're leaping in to things. So make sure you've done all of the things that you need to do in order to follow through on the decision. They want to make sure that you're grounded as you will, as you move forward. Now, it's a card that's also can be about prosperity, so it might be time for you to think about new ways of calling in abundance. This is something that is close to your heart. I'm glad I wore green today because this is very the element that's um, the energy that's associated with this card. So you can see the, the fields are plowed. He's ready for his next step. He's ready to plant the seeds. So what do you have to do to get ready to, for the dream that you're, you're wanting to achieve? What is it that you need to do? How, what's the equivalent of, of plowing the fields for you? The horse there stands protectively, but also horses are about power and freedom. So remember to stay in your power. The only thing that steals your power is fear, right? We start to think, oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, this person's better than me. Oh, someone's going to laugh at me. And all those things, it's like our fear just zooms out of us, like, you know, <laughs> like the air going out of a balloon. 
but you can get it back quickly. Call an Archangel Michael, cut those cords and say, I'm choosing to believe in myself. I'm choosing to believe that the universe is on my side and that everything is going to be okay and that I just have to follow the steps to create what I want. So it's maybe you've got to create, um, I'm seeing like a, a vessel or a container or a chalice. You know, if you're, if you're calling something in, you've got to make the space for it, right? You've, you've got to lay out the red carpet for it to come in. So what are you manifesting at the moment? I love this so much. So there's a word that stands out on the card is protective. And it's letting you know that the angels are watching over you as you move forward. Love. Okay. Is this resonating with you? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Natalie. Hi. Hi, Cheryl. So the second card we're doing a full card reading right now for the collective. So pay attention if you're asking a question of the angels at the moment. Pay attention because they're not just talking to me. They're talking to you as well at the same time. So what's coming up for you? This is your block. Overworking, trying too hard, pushing against the river, overthinking, worrying, carrying burdens of some kind. It's time to lay your burdens down and start to call on your guardian angel and Archangel Michael to help you. You know, maybe it's time that you start delegating things and stop trying to do everything by yourself. And look for those limiting thoughts that come up. Oh, I can't afford it. People won't like me. People won't help me. Don't argue for your limitations. The angels don't see you as limited. Why should you see yourself as limited? So, You've just got to be aware of stress. And I love, this is a message from Archangel Michael. Look, the woman has, has the free path ahead and she's got, it's a treeless horizon. It's gorgeous, right? But there's a little gray cloud over her head and she's had to put a basket down because it's full of heavy hammers. Are you beating yourself up? <clears throat> Are you overthinking? Are you trying to give yourself too much to do? Like you don't have to do everything before December 2021, right? <laughs> I do this to myself. I'm like, I have to get it all done this year. Um, you don't, right? The path goes beyond this year. So do what's in front of you. Call in help, physical, actual human help, as well as angelic help. Think about ways that you can take things off your plate rather than add things in and stop giving yourself a mentally hard time. This, one, this card's about burdens and carrying too much all right look at this beautiful now i can't tell you how many cards are about protection in this four card reading so i'm going to combine these two because we've got an outcome and we've got some extra guidance so this one is victory success waving the, the flag of I got here, you know, she's planting the flag at the top of the mountain, if you like, she's, she's got here, she's the winner. So this is letting you know that success is yours. Now we've been getting these kind of cards a lot and they've always been in the outcome recently. Have you noticed that? The angels are giving you the steps and they're saying success is assured. You can have what you want. Can you hear that? Say it to yourself, I can have what I want, I can manifest. And when you say manifest, don't make it work. No, don't be like this lady, right? She can manifest it, but she's completely exhausted because she's trying to do it by herself. Manifest doesn't mean to work. It means to make real. It means to work with the energy, action, your angels. It's a co-creation. So she gets there. She gets there and there's all the, all the seeds that were planted in the beginning are starting to sprout. Now, this card is also about protecting your energy, making sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who will be happy for your success, who want to see you win as well. That's really important. Your angels are cheering you on. This is Archangel Uriel, who's the angel of the month for November, by the way, secret until tomorrow, but still I'll tell you anywhere. So this can be, this can be monetary success, it can be, um, it can be just achieving what you want. It's being recognized, awarded, um, but it's a, a very positive card. It's the six of fire as well. So we've got two fire cards. And then we've got shield yourself. So this is a reminder 
to keep your energy protected, that Archangel Michael's right there beside you, putting his energetic shield over you should you accept it. Now it takes two minutes to pray for that in the morning and to visualize yourself inside a, a beautiful shield of light. And you can protect your energy, your day, your loved ones, your pets, your car, your business, your finances, your kids, everything. You, you know, you can, your mom, your dad, on earth and in heaven, you can ask for protection. And part of protecting yourself and energetically protecting others is also using your mind. So I am safe. Feeling safe creates an extra radiant energy around you that that creates protection feeling fear and looking for the worst case scenarios and dreaming up negative outcomes and nightmarish scenarios isn't gonna make you feel safe so your little shield is gonna kind of fizzle out every 30 seconds if you're sort of working up um, a lot of fear inside of you so protect yourself and declare yourself safe and protected so you know, there is a lot of fear in the collective at the moment, and we have to be aware of that, but we don't have to engage in it. We don't have to dip our toe in it at all. We can, we can, I love you and I let you go, <laughs> right? We can do that, radiate love. And stay focused because you've got, you've got some important things going on, right? So how does that resonate for you in your life at this moment? What can you do to get more focused and plan and and plow the field for the seeds that you're you're planting hello Gustavo <laughs> and your emojis how very kind the angels are really speaking to you today yes you know how what can you do you know sometimes we need to make an act of faith so you might go and buy that bottle of champagne for the success that you're accepting, that you, you're expecting, you know, plan for something good to happen rather than the worst case scenario. What can you do to take things off your plate? How can you maybe get even more focused on, on what you want by removing lots of things that distract you, that weigh on you, that um, are burdens that maybe you're carrying for other people? Um, how can you clear how can you not go into stress that's really important it's such an important thing and fear creates stress doesn't it and here we have the outcome so yay exciting exciting overworking yes yes Okay, so remember the angel's message today is about you're worthy of peace and whatever question you're asking of the angels, anything that you want to bring in, make room this week and even every day to, to find peace first and then the answer will drop in. You know, recently I, when I made an important health decision, um, I was so cluttered with everybody's opinions and judgments and, and fears that I had to, I had to do exactly that. So I took myself away for, um, oh, from everything, and I got really peaceful and really calm. And then I knew what I had to do to look after myself and my family. And so, at the moment, with so much fear around, you might not even be buying into the fears, but the fears are kind of like little mosquitoes. So you, you just need to be really conscious. So Nasi, oh, you were at the um, the Archangel Michael. Um, event on Friday yes it was amazing like I'm not blowing my own trumpet because I channel I bring through the angels I I just listen to what they're saying but the energy was incredible and there was a lot of healing and release in that event so thank you for being there at that hi D hi angels are really speaking yeah so if there's no more questions, I'm going to, um, I'm not doing any more of the what single card readings for people, Cheryl, sorry. I just decided a, lot, a few weeks ago that um, it's better for me to do the collective reading and it's better for everyone else too because um, lots of people don't get a reading and then people have, you know, so for me it just felt better to just continue doing it like this and having an angel, connect, an angel connection bring in the angels, protect you, give you the guidance. 
And you know, anyone who wants a, a private reading with me can still book in for one. Um, they're still around for now. And you can also do one of my courses where I teach you to get guidance for yourself. So um, there's nothing more empowering and exciting than doing that, how to get really clear, detailed messages from the angels yourself. So I'm currently teaching uh, Awaken Your Soul Gifts, which is a four-week program. We're in week three, um, which is amazing. And we're doing angel cards, we're doing pendulum, we're doing channeled writing. Um, it's amazing. It's beautiful. The difference between ego uh, and true guidance and lots of healing, lots of clearing of the energy. And then in January, I'll be doing angel communication certification again, which is all about the angel cards and receiving clear messages from the angels, three, four card readings and um, some healing as well, how to heal with the angels yourself. So if you want to join one of those, that's, you know, and of course, there's my monthly Archangel and Angel Attunement and, and Activations as well that you can come to. So sending you lots of love. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to grab the replay for Archangel Michael, it's still there for one more day over on my website. Um, yeah, and I will see you next Monday for Angel Monday. I'll be at 5 o'clock on Instagram today that, and on Thursday, 5 o'clock on Instagram too for another live with the angels. So lots and lots of love. See you soon. Thank you.